Hi everyone, it's Cindy with Twisted True Sin. How you guys all doing? Here's an update about the search for Suzanne coming up. On the 24th, everyone is to meet at 8 a.m. at Poncha Springs Visitor Center. So Chasing Evil sent an email update. It said all assignments and logistical information will be made at the meeting. Andy is grateful and looks forward to explaining logistics on the 24th. As you can imagine, Andy is doing a thousand things, including tending to his father in Michigan. There will be a short video coming also explaining a download for your device that will help in search efforts. After the search you can delete the tool. Andy's supposed to be meeting with CBI and Sheriff on the 23rd and all additional details will be shared on the 24th. Folks will be divided into teams with a team leader. According to Chasing Evil, Suzanne was on social media with her friend talking about an upcoming wedding and she just went silent. Communication suddenly just stopped. Allegedly on Mother's Day, she went on a bike ride and she vanished. Her husband Barry has theorized about what happened to her. He says that Prior to her disappearance, the day before, law enforcement did see a mountain lion in the same area where they found her bike. So she could have been attacked by a mountain lion, she could have crashed, become disoriented, and went into the river, or been forced off the road. She could have been taken by someone close to her, whatever that means. That's a little creepy. Andy Mormon wishes his brother-in-law would be more helpful. Because Andy does suspect foul play. Also, the Mountain Mail did post an article. These bracelets will be available and their proceeds will go to Funding the search effort or helping to fund the search effort. They'll be available at the vigil and also at the factory and body works, which is a place that Suzanne used to support. And the candlelight vigil is September 25th at the visitor center at 7 p.m. I'm praying that they find Suzanne. I hope. She's alive. I hope she's well. I hope. I'm sending prayers to everyone who's going to be searching for Suzanne to keep you safe. And I'll try to keep you posted, everyone. I'll talk to you later. Love you guys. Bye.